One of the most common things we have is a puncture in the front wheel of a tramper. Blackthorn are wonderful for puncturing them. There's slime in the inner tube, so it should self-seal. But if you get one that doesn't self-seal, then uh, either just try pumping it up, see if it will get you home, or and the pumps with the toolkit, uh, or take the uh, inner tube out and repair it, or swap the wheels because we carry a spare wheel with us. So this is how we swap the wheels. First of all, make sure the ignition is off and the back of the chair is back far enough so that that part will rest on the ground. So we're going to lift the front of the tramper and rest it on the ground. Making sure that before you let it go that it's quite stable, that it won't easily fall back again. So with the screwdriver, remove the cover plate. That should just pop off. Six mil. Six mil hex Allen key. It's a long one, very long, goes all the way through and engages with the hex head at the back. And then 13 mil spanner. 13 mil spanner the other side. So holding the hex head and undoing the spanner will release the wheel. Just take it all the way off and reverse the process to put the new one back on. So a bit of maintenance on here, as well as making sure that there's end play, is you can put a squirt of GT85 is what we recommend. That's silicon spray rather than a uh, PTFE spray, rather than WD40, which is not really a lot to use. So a little squirt in there occasionally helps keep that free moving. Important test before you go is to make sure the twist grip works. Twist grip should, with the ignition turned off, twist grip should go snap all the way back to home, whether it's all the way open or only just cracked. And that only just cracked is the important bit. And you, if it won't do that, one of the things that might be wrong is that there's no end play. So. Check that that's okay, you've got some end plate. If there isn't, two posi screwdriver heads underneath here, slacken them off and pull that out of it. If it wasn't all the way back and you turn on, Bernard, you turn on please. So you think you're about to go, but in fact the status light is flashing one, two, three, four, so there's a coded sequence there saying what the fault is. One, two, three, five, I think that was. So we let that go, we turn off the ignition. Normally when you switch on, the slice just comes on and we're free to go. Okay, so how do we put the tramper into push mode? So how do we make it so that the tramper will push 
when it's not working. If it's still got battery, then we can do this. Turn the, turn the ignition on, operate the push switch, and you hear the brake come off. It will now push, there's no brake. So to put it back to normal, Take the push switch down, and so now the brake's on, and turn the ignition off. If the tramper hasn't got battery power, and so you need to put it into free wheel, there is a lever very awkwardly placed behind here on the end of the motor. To try to demonstrate that better, We'll put the tramper up on its end and see if we can see it from underneath. Right. Remove the seat back so that the end of the bar there goes onto the ground as we lift up. So from the front, very carefully lift it up and it goes all the way back. And rests and it's quite stable there. So coming round this is the brake lever, the free wheeling lever. And it's really difficult to operate. And I can't operate it in this position because then the tramper would run away when we try to move it. So that's the lever and you have to get at it with a lot of difficulty. So we put in the tramper back as it was. Mine your back. So there's the lever. Can you stop it from rolling, Bernard? Ah, got it. So you heard it click. It should now roll, Bernard. Okay. Yeah. So just hold it in place. There's the lever. And it's solid again. When you assemble the field support unit, you know how to put the base, the flat aluminium base on top of the chassis. You latch it onto those two little wheels. Now if we leave it right extended and put the winch onto the trailer, and then bring the tramper up, a broken down tramper up to the trailer by putting it into free wheel. Do you want to hold it? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pull it over the knot. And then push it on. Switching off the ignition puts it back into lock. I'm now going to wind the winch and push on the base of the trailer to get the trailer back up level. I need someone to push as well as lift as the winch is winding.
That bolt at the front needs to be engaged. Needs to go back a fraction. Engaged and the winch is just holding on there. There's four ratchet straps in with the tent for tying the tent down. get someone on it they can compress the suspension a bit so that you can ratchet it more. There's four of them so at least two where we've got one perhaps through the back wheels perhaps around the front but importantly just a point don't leave this to get caught in the wheels so an overhand knock on the spare. So that won't get caught. And then so if you just take this side there. When we drive off, we make sure there's someone either side giving it stability. Then to take it apart. Undo the bolt at the front, withdraw that nut, withdraw on the winch, move it slightly to set so we can let go of the bolt. Now we're going to pull the whole thing back. Until it comes down. And then going to have people at the side but behind it as we release it to stop it rolling straight back down. Ready to release? Yep. And there we are.